Hello guys, so in this video we are going to be doing toggle buttons and why are we going to do it? You can see here we have an app, a story app, it shows story and uh, we need to do with our toggle buttons is we need to change the font size like the client wants the font to be bigger or smaller with user's preference however you want so we are going to be doing that with toggle buttons so first what we are going to do so after this divider this is where your story's content is here now we need to add toggle button first of all so it's toggle buttons and it will take children so basically whatever children will take is a list of widget and we will give it text just give it a then we will give it different font sizes Let's give it 12. Sixteen and twenty. Then what is selected takes is a list of Boolean. So we will give it first let's select first and false. And false. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Let's give a little padding. I'm only going to give it from left. Okay. Now it still doesn't look selected, so that will happen after we give it on pressed and it basically takes your index. Okay. See, now it looks like that. And we gave it a color, our primary color. Okay, but, but what we need is once we select one font, the other fo fonts, which are uh, the other buttons that are selected should be disabled, deselected. So we are going to do that by, uh, we are not going to give it here. We are going to give it a selected, which is basically going to be our list of bold. okay and since it's a stateful widget we are going to be initializing it inside of our init state we're going to be doing a is selected equals to initially so first is um i'm going to say false for first and true and false because we want medium to be our default okay then in our on pressed after we select a function we are going to do is selected at our index mm, we need a for loop and I will similarly select it dot length and I just plus. So, um, so basically, whenever I should be equal to index, right? 
we are going to be doing our is selected at index equals to true and all the else cases when it is not we will make it false okay that should work let's try it this should not be my equals to no it's not the author we need to have to start for our image state to work okay select it now and select this one mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we need to make it I instead of index. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, right. We did not did a set state. How is it going to change? Pause. Okay, yes, it works. Now we have done those. We have, now the toggle buttons are working. Now all that is required is to change the font. So what we are going to be doing is where is our font? So our font is here. It's originally 17. It's going to be our medium. And then, okay, so let's give it. Uh, variable and font size and here we are going to say font size and So we are going to be doing this uh, in our on pressed. So what we will do is after we have selected one, we are going to get a font size. Our font size going to be equals to a function which will return int. And it will take as index. Okay. So if index is equal to equals to zero, it's going to be returning. Uh, let's give it fourteen. Okay. else if index equal to equal to 1 going to be returning 70 and else if index equal to 2 here bigger font we are going to be using 20 ok now we need to give it index and we have already called our set state Let's try this now. See if it changes. Okay, we received an error. The method was called on null. Get font in this. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I just gave it something in initially. Now 
Now you can see it works. So we gave it initially because uh, it didn't have anything initially font size that's why we saw that error but now see it works that's it guys for this video